Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the High Media News Update. I am your host Evan Haggard, and we're and we're going to get into your head. We're going to get into your headlines for December twelfth, twenty twenty three. Firstly, Georgia election worker suing Rudy Giuliani tells jurors that his lies made her her fear for her life. Scared for her life after Giuliani and other Donald Trump allies falsely accused her of fraud. Georgia election worker Wanandra Shea Moss told jurors Tuesday she seldom leaves her home, suffers from panic attacks and battles, nightmares brought on by a barrage of threatening racist messages. Years later, she lives on in fear that the lies will get her killed, she said. When Andra Shea Moss took the witness stand on the second day of the defamation trial, that will determine how much of the former New York City mayor will have to pay Moss and her mother, Ruby Freeman, for spreading a conspiracy theory that they rigged the state's 2020 election results. Moss sobbed as she testified that her life was turned upside down by the accusations, though they were quickly debunked by state officials. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden states that Israel is starting to lose support because of Gaza bombing. In the wake of the continued bombing of the of Israel, discussions and and opinions that normally are held behind closed doors between the Israeli and U.S. government are coming to light, including the revelation that both Biden and his aides are are advising the Israeli government to either change leadership structure, change governments, boot Netanyahu, or de-escalate the fighting because of waning support at home, especially among the next generation. Meanwhile, in Wisconsin, Governor Gretchen Whitmer's push for abortion rights continues as she repeals insurance requirement in Michigan. Since the overturning of Roe v. Wade last year, abortion rights has become a driving force of the ballot box. Democratic candidates, including Whitmer in her t- during her 2022 re-election campaign, have made the issue a central part of their pitch, and voters, in turn, have consistently chosen to protect abortion rights and picked candidates who support those rights. Quote, Today, 10 years after I gave a speech on the Senate floor and shared my own story as a survivor of sexual assault, I am honored as governor to repeal the ban on insurance coverage for abortion, Whitmer posted on Twitter after signing the bill. Trans rights, but it's okay to deadname Twitter. The moral of the story is never stop fighting for what you know is right, she said in the post. Per the state, of more than 27,000 abortions that took place in Michigan last year, only 2.5 were paid for by insurance. The vast majority were self-paid. The controversial insurance right of requirement was approved in 2013 by the then Republican-led legislature and Whitmer, then the Senate. State Senate Minority Leader spoke against it at the time and revealed her own personal story. The Republican male majority continues to ignorantly and unnecessarily weigh in on the important women's health issues that they know nothing about, she said, according to MLive.com. Whitmer has long been a vocal supporter of abortion rights. Six months after she won the re-election and Democrats took control of the state legislature, the governor signed the legislation repealing the 1931 abortion ban in Michigan, one that she had challenged even ahead of overturning the overturning of Roe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for listening to your High Media News Update. We are happy to serve you. Thank you so much for your time, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Please stick around after the show and in, in, in listen to our ad break. It supports the show, and, well, it makes it so... Morning Coffee and High Media News Update are able to better serve you. Thank you so much for listening again and have a great day.